Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? So, just got back from Micah Center, and my, my one of my computers is failing, my main computer. Uh, so I decided at the same time, when I upgraded my motherboard, uh, with the Asus Z97 Sabertooth, which is kind of an older motherboard, but... Um, <clears throat> so I decided, actually, I was looking into SSD technology, and a lot of things have changed since the last time I bought an SSD drive. It's before, uh, with the 2.5 inch, SATA drive. Um, I mean, those things were running around 500 megabits per second. But uh, yeah, these new ones are 3,000 and 3,500. Well, at least with the Crucial, the uh, P5. I mean, this thing is blazing fast. But the problem is, my motherboard doesn't have an M2 slot on it. So I think the generation after this motherboard actually st they started putting M2 slots on the boards. Um, Yeah, this is a Z Z97 chipset, so yeah, I should be able to boot. Like, if you had a Z87 chipset, you should you wouldn't be able to boot. You could do a BIOS mod, but you wouldn't be able to boot from this thing. So, so I bought this little adapter, and it's twenty bucks, and it's a 4x PCI 30 4x adapter. And I've seen some other ones online that were actually 16x. The PCB was 16x, but I was looking, I was trying to look at all the pictures and look closely, but the there was no traces coming off these you know, uh, the longer 16X card, the PCB. So I was like, you got this faux 16X PCB, you're not getting any additional benefits. So, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll show you real quick, but in the pictures, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. A little thermal transfer pad, really big heat sink. Guess there's a little bit of RGB lighting on there. Oh, two uh, brackets for the uh, smaller form factor, and the, uh, I'm only using this one for a full size case. And I mean, this is only a 4X slot, but like I said, what I was saying is the 16X slots that go all the way across, like a graphics port right there. I was looking at them and all these pictures and specs, and if you look at here, you can see the traces right here, if you can maybe see that. Um, there's little traces that come off the the PCI slot here. Whereas the 8X and the 16X, there was nothing coming off of it, so it wasn't being used. It was only, only the 4X was being used because, that makes sense, because this thing, this M2 drive, only can actually do PCI 3.0, four lanes. So, all right, we'll get this together, get it going. That's a crucial P5 SSD, but it's amazing how technology has changed, you know, with the old magnetic platter style hard drive to this new solid state stuff. Yeah, actually, I've been around, uh, I've been fixing computers for 30 years, and I've seen a lot of different changes from 286 to now. So, when I first started working on computers, it was like 286, 386, 486, you know, in the uh, early 90s. Crazy amount of change. Instructions aren't very clear on this thing, so the only way I could figure out how to do it to make it work would be to have the uh, one of the brass things, the black thing, brass thing, thing like that. Alright, use this little screw right here. Alright, got the M2 drive on there, and um, black uh, bracket here. Alright, that's cool. Came with uh, four different size thermal pads here. So it says apply the gold, but before I even do that, I want to make sure that I want to look at the clearance of this thing. So I'm going to look at right here, I'm going to get my flashlight, and I'll look at the clearance to make sure that we'll be getting contact. Can't see in the camera, but I mean, looking at the clearance between the actual M2 drive and the heatsink. Okay, now it says to apply the thermal pad right to the top of the SSD drive. Kind of don't like that in case I wanted to use this, I might pull the sticker off. It's, it's kind of soft, so it might not be 100%. Make sure you don't get on the connector, you want to get actually more on the chips, the flash chips. And then this should just go. Screw this 
screw in the Phillips. Cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting contact, so that's good. Get those four screws screwed in, come back. Alright, so on this particular motherboard, the uh, PCI 3.0 slots are here and here. Uh, the rest are two out of the slots. So, I think once I upgrade this motherboard and processor, I'm going to rebuy a new SSD with, um, because all the new motherboards will actually have it. We'll all actually have um, M2, M2 drive slots, just for everyone I've seen so far. All right, but, so I'm going to come back, I'm going to finish building the computers, and we'll get this fired up. And I'll do a speed test to see how fast this P5 drive is. But the P5 drive is actually probably the fastest I've found for the, for the price. Uh, all the other drives that are actually faster are uh, PCI 4.0, so I wouldn't be able to take advantage of that. So I figured I'd just buy a new M2 drive once I upgrade this motherboard to something with PCI 4.0. All right, there it is. I'm going to get Windows 10 installed, and we'll do a benchmark.